Many people feel shy and anxious in social situations. This is because they are afraid of what others will think of them. They worry about being judged, ridiculed, or embarrassed. This can be an issue for those who have to go to school, college, work or any other social setting where they may not know anyone. Luckily, there are ways to overcome shyness and social anxiety that can help people get through these stressful situations. There are many different treatments for shyness available such as cognitive behavioral therapy, mindfulness meditation and exposure therapy. These treatments often take time to work, but they can be very effective in the end. Some people with shyness may choose to live a more social life through joining clubs or organizations in which they can meet people. Others may prefer to stay home, watch movies and TV, participate in online communities, and talk or text on the phone with a few selected friends. A combination of these strategies is often necessary for effective treatment for shyness. Social anxiety is an intense fear of social situations. It can be triggered by any social situation and it's not limited to one type of social situation. It is important to know that there are six different types of social anxiety. Generalized social anxiety disorder, avoidant personality disorder, social phobia, agoraphobia, specific phobia, and obsessive compulsive disorder. The causes of social anxiety can be the following. Genetic factors or genetic predisposition, environmental factors or traumatic experiences, psychological factors or self-esteem issues. We all have fears that we need to face. We can't avoid them forever. They will always be there waiting for us to come back and face them. Some people run away from their fears, but it's never a good idea to do that because it will only make the fear grow stronger. The best thing to do is confront your fear, head on and try to understand what it is about this fear that you are so afraid of. You might be afraid because of something that happened in the past that you feel responsible for. Or perhaps you have a secret fear that someone will find out about and make fun of you. Maybe your fear is just keeping you from taking chances or trying new things. Some people are afraid of their fear itself, but if they can accept their fear, it won't be as bad as they think. Anxiety is a feeling of worry, fear, and tenseness that can be felt in different parts of our body. The body often tries to protect itself when we feel anxious, which can lead to the body's physical reactions. Anxiety-induced reactions can include long-term physical reactions like chronic pain, short-term physical reactions like an increase in heart rate or respiration, or a fast heartbeat, mental reactions that can make the individual feel trapped, trapped in their own body, or lose their self-control. If you have social anxiety, it can be tough to get out of your comfort zone and do things that make you nervous. But there are many ways to deal with this type of anxiety. Here are some tips for handling social anxiety when meeting new people or presenting at work. Practice what you want to say in front of a mirror or in front of a friend who will be supportive. It's so important to practice what you want to say. It's not just about the words you use, but how you say them. Practicing in front of a mirror or in front of an understanding friend can help give you the confidence to speak up and stand up for yourself. Give yourself permission to make mistakes and don't try to be perfect. We put so much pressure on ourselves to be perfect, but that's not realistic. We'll never be able to live up to the expectations we set for ourselves, and we need to give ourselves permission to make mistakes. Focus on what's good about yourself instead of what you think is wrong with you. 
get enough sleep, eat well, and maintain a healthy lifestyle. Living a healthy lifestyle can be hard. It takes dedication, commitment, and self-discipline. However, it's worth the effort because of all the health benefits that come with it. One of these benefits is that it helps you to sleep better. Use positive self-talk about how you're going to do well and how the event will go great. Self-talk is something we do every single day. It's a powerful way to motivate ourselves and change the way that we feel. Studies show that self-talk can have a significant impact on how well we perform in high-pressure situations. I have been shy all my life and it has been affecting my life in many ways. I have to constantly think about how to avoid people and what is the best way to not be noticed. It was getting worse with time and I had to do something about it. I am not alone. Shyness is a common problem for many people, but it doesn't have to stay that way. There are many ways of overcoming this problem, but the most important thing is to change your perspective on how you see the world. We should not focus on ourselves as much as we should focus on what we can offer others. By doing this, we can get rid of our shyness by shifting our focus away from ourselves and onto helping others who need our help more than we do. It can be overwhelming to find an effective way to deal with shyness and social anxiety. There are so many different aspects of life that contribute to these feelings, and it can be difficult to know what steps to take first. While some people see shyness as a weakness or a character flaw, it is just one of the many parts of their personality. It doesn't have to hold you back from enjoying life. If you want to know how you can overcome these two barriers that keep so many people from living their fullest potential, check the link in the description. You will learn how to make friends quickly, talk confidently, and live life to its fullest.